Hey guys, I'm continuing straight on from the previous video. Now, the next thing we want to do is find the fixed end moments. So we've said in the previous video, the fixed end moments is WL squared on 12. So if we look at member one, two, so that's one, two, and member two, one. So one from two and two from one, it's both along this beam here. So the moment's gonna be WL squared on 12. So 95.3 times L squared is eight squared divided by 12 gives us 508.2. So just rounding that, we're gonna get 508 and we have to put negative. So when you're going through the fixed end moment, it always needs to be positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, okay? So 508 and minus 508. Now, because joint uh, members three, four and four, three, so from three to four and from four to three, it's both that, um, that span, which is the exact same as this span, uh, the moments are gonna be the exact same. So positive 508 minus 508. All right, uh, the next thing we wanna do is find the moment, the fixed end moments at two to three and three to two. So from two to three, from three to two is along this span here. Its fixed end moment will be W, which is 114.6 times by L squared, which is 10 squared divided by 12. So 955, okay? So we have positive 955 and negative 955. So that is the fixed end moments. We're then gonna go to the next stage, which is the out of balance moment. So all we do is we just take the sum of each um, fix, of each component above. So it's zero plus zero plus 508, uh, you get 508, minus 508 plus zero plus zero plus 955. So minus 508 plus 955 will give you 447. Over here, let me zoom in a bit. So this is gonna be minus 955 plus 508. 